Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the ignition coil on your string trimmer, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. Now remove the screws securing the engine cover and pull the cover off. For better access, we recommend removing the flywheel casing. To do this, loosen the screw securing the handle mounting clamp so the handle moves freely on the shaft. Next, loosen the screws securing the shaft to the flywheel casing. Pull the shaft out of the casing and slide the handle off of the shaft. Now remove the screws securing the flywheel casing. Pull the casing off. Next, disconnect the wire from the ignition coil. Remove the mounting screws securing the ignition coil and pull the old coil off. Prepare the new ignition coil for installation by transferring the boot, the terminal, and the insulator from the old coil to the new one, or install new parts. Consider applying liquid dish soap or rinse aid to the boot to make it easier to pull it off of the terminal wire. Slide the insulator onto the new ignition coil wire. Attach the terminal by using pliers to insert the hook into the wire. Apply additional soap if necessary and slide the boot onto the terminal. Now position the new coil on the flywheel housing and secure the assembly loosely with the screws. Make sure the magnets are rotated out of the way then pull the coil back and tighten the screws. Now rotate the flywheel so the magnets align with the coil. Insert a business card and loosen the screws to align the coil the correct distance from the flywheel. Retighten the screws and remove the business card. Connect the wire to the new coil. Realign the flywheel casing and replace the screws to secure. Reposition the engine cover. Replace the screws to secure it. Now slide the handle onto the shaft and insert the shaft into the flywheel casing. You can use the line and arrows to properly align the shaft. Once positioned, tighten the screws to secure. Properly position the handle and tighten the handle mounting clamp screw. Clean out any excess soap from the boot, then attach it to the spark plug and your string trimmer should be ready for use.